headed off to California for our California adventure. We go down for a family funeral and play around with the family while we're down there. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing good. We got a little road trip we're on. We're gonna be gone for four days. Gonna have a lot of content coming on. So a lot of fishing, a lot of off-roading, a lot of everything, man. So uh, stay tuned and stick around. Welcome back to the channel. We'll see you guys in a bit. Mountain lakes. Like, Let's see what the creek looks like. Oh, it's still. Look at all the pools. Wow, it's running oh, still. Nice. Big ass pond wow. on that side. I'm amazed it's running that deep right here really? in August like this. Last time we came, we wow. first dive, it was way deep. Yeah. Wow. The kids were jumping off the rocks into the water. Was that deep? Headed up to Mountain Lakes. Check back in a minute. Good. All right, here we are. Our final destination for the weekend. Battle Creek, California, Mountain Lakes. This is a private resort, so you do have to mem have a membership to come in here, and yes, we are members. So make sure you don't just come up and try to go fishing or camping, you got to make sure you're a member. Oh, look at all the new remodeling they're doing. There we go. We're at Mountain Lakes. We made it down. Waiting to check in right now. We're all set, ready to go for the weekend. We're going to be going all through these mountains here. All through these mountains. We're going to be over towards Silverwood, the backside. We're going to, we're going to get out there and do some fishing. And some exploring. Yeah. All right, how's it going? How's everybody doing this week? Well. This adventure, we are on the Razor, and we are off of the 15 freeway, Silverwood exit in California. We're about to go Razor riding. We're gonna go cruise through the mountains. We're gonna can't see if we can reach Silverwood Lake from here, because apparently green stickers are outlawed everywhere in these mountains now. So it kind of sucked. It kind of killed my plans, but we're gonna make the day of it anyways. Got my family with me, got my boys, my granddaughter with me. Whoop. Everybody's here. The other ones are all back at Mountain Lake, so stay tuned. Let's go.
little time off to talk about a few things. Uh, mental health. You guys, uh, a lot of you out there know, over the years, uh, I've had a lot of family members and I myself have dealt with mental health issues. Uh, myself, I deal with ADHD. Had it since I was a kid, bouncing off the of walls like a crazy guy. Uh, a lot of things going around, you know, but uh, I found something lately. I partnered up with somebody. Uh, they reached out to me with an email and asked me to try some of their product because I'm always looking for ways to get my mind, you know, settled down. But uh, I learned ways to cope with my ADHD and deal with it outdoors, a lot of outdoors. A lot of camping, a lot of fishing, a lot of hiking, a lot of everything. That's where the channel comes from. But uh, today, I have teamed up with these people at Magic Mind. These guys over here, they come up with some stuff, man. Uh, it doesn't replace your coffee. It's not an energy drink. It's more. It's more of an endurance drink. It more. It helps you think. It helps your mind comprehend what's going around you a little bit more. To me, it helps with my my uh, fabrication and my, de my designs of my uh, my fishing pole racks and everything that I make. You guys know on my channel, right? I'll show you a couple little things here that uh, I go through during the day. All right, how you guys doing? Day number five. So, this is how I start my day. A little bit of magic mind right here. See that right there? This stuff right here, shake it up really good. Gonna shake it up real good. Pop the cap. Let it sit there. I love this stuff, man. This stuff is great. I've been taking it this day five now. And uh, talk about clarity, man. It's awesome. I take it with a little bit of orange juice, but this stuff is bomb. It has made me go from different levels in my fabrication, in my designs, in everything. Let it breathe for a second. And that, day five. Not bad. All right, so far, this is what it looks like. That's the tow hitch one. All right, today, guys, finished product right there. Paint it all up. Nice gloss and black. Looks nice. Right there, man, I'm telling you. Magic mind. This stuff right here does wonders, man. So what we do. I'm just shooting it now. Ah, that's it. And that's the way you do it. Magic mind. Keeps you going, man. I'm telling you, keeps your mind sharp. You gotta get on it. Now they reached out to me at Magic Mind and was talking to me and asked me to take their drink for seven days and give them a review. Uh, today is day number eight. And as you can see, I'm sitting at my desk and I'm getting ready to do some editing. A lot of editing from a California trip that we just came back from right now that you're enjoying this video of. It's us going through the mountains. But uh, this magic mind right here, this stuff right here has made me think more clearly. Made me see things a lot better. It slowed my mind down to the point where I can actually use my mind and design things. Uh, design trips, figure out things. I'm looking on maps. I'm going different places now. So this past eight days has been amazing. Uh, I can't tell you how much I love this stuff. This stuff helps me focus better on everything I do, which is everything from fabrication to outdoors to, to family life, man. I live an active life and I'm in my 50s, man. But uh, this right here goes along with my daily coffee. I drink my coffee in the morning when I wake up, when I get myself going, and when I'm ready to get going, I grab a hold of this, I pop this sucker open, and I take this right here. I chase it with a little bit of orange juice. You can do whatever. It's got a little bit of taste, but it's nice. It's got turmeric. It's got a lot of stuff in it. This thing has got it all. I'm telling you. Uh, I, I feel really good. I uh, love the effects. It doesn't give you that crashing feeling. 
you know, coming down off a of coffee or anything like that, you know. Uh, it keeps you going, keeps you sharp, keeps your mind going. So I got a code for you guys here to use. And if you guys want to get some of this, man, get these guys at Magic Mind. They know what they're doing. Let me share the code with you. Hold on. I'm going to put it right down here in the description right here. I got a code for you coming. Okay, so what you want to do is go down there. You want to hit in Hammond 20. That's going to get you 40% off your first order, your first subscription of Magic Mind. Right there. You're going to get 40%, 48% off. Okay, so go down there. Hit that link. Follow the link. Check it out. Hammond 20, guys. Hammond 20 is going to get you that 48% off. Thank you to Magic Mind for reaching out. Thank you for all your guys' support. And uh, we're going to get back to it, man. It's time to edit. Back to the video, man. Cheers, guys. I like it. It's good. good. Up, up towards the top on Cleghorn Road. We're going around the back. I'm going to try to make it to Silverwood. See if we can't get down to the water. We're parked. See the see the diesels and the, the highway over there? We're parked right down below there. Down below those diesels. But we came a long way. There's 138 and Silverwood exit on the 15 freeway. Right there, Cajon Pass. Yep, yeah. high desert, Apple Valley, Victorville, all that stuff over there. What's that? Where's James? James, he took off walking up here. He's over here. Look at the train. Look how that train snakes. That's crazy. Instead of just making a straight shot up the canyon. Over there. He walked up through the bushes over there. Stop flexing over there. You're still a smug. <laughs> Not even flexing, bro. Still working, bro. Shut up. Not even flexing, bro. That's flexing. Yeah, it looks like the same. Flexer. <laughs> you try to look good on my dad's GoPro. <laughs> <laughs> That's good positivity you have in your life. Right? <laughs> well, we just did some sketchy shit. I wish I would have got it on GoPro. But uh we just came down this. See those big boulders up there? We almost rolled coming over them. Oh my god, it was it was uh it was gnarly dude. It was gnarly, but we had to come over those boulders and we almost rolled. They had to, they had to get out of the Polaris and I had to do it on my own. But yeah, talk about some sketchy shit. Ooh, time to do some sketchy shit. Do da, do da. Yeah, that was, that was gnarly.
I'm going in the water. I'll be back. Is that where the cold water is? Basically, out here. Oh no, I feel a change right here. Can you play sharky? Oh, and then it just drops off. Oh. Oh, and then God. it gets like muddy. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, I'm just sitting there. Look at that hawk. I know there's a falcon too. Oh, those are hawks. Those are a. Uh, no, they're uh, vultures. She took in a little bit of water. Grandpa, hello. Can you play sharky with me? In a minute, let me. Uh, it's why you have to chase me because you're I, such a shark. I know you gotta let me relax for a minute. Yeah. That hike down kicked my old man's butt. Come up there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Big ass rock. This right is here. supposed to be waterproof. Is it waterproof? <laughs> I'm gonna act like an animal, like a wolf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna be having me. Oh man, you know what I forgot to bring? I forgot to bring my chest strap. <laughs> Oh well. <gasps> oh well. Uh. Right? Oh, this the feels so good. This feels good after riding in that razor all day. Look at that guy. America! Yeah. It's lunchtime. Got the big old flags flying. Grandpa! Show the camera to me. Ready? Go! Uh, Three! We made it to the lake, like I said, going through the mountains to Silverwood. So here we are. Yeah, I'm just sitting here on the sand. It's nice and cool. I'm gonna go uh, cool off for a minute and then I'm gonna grab my pole and I'm gonna hit this beach and see if I can't catch a couple bass or something. I only brought it a little bit down here with me, so we'll figure it out. But stay tuned, we'll talk to you guys later. Mm. I'm gonna go over here and hit these banks real quick. It sucks. I don't have my chest strap with me, so uh, I'll just pull you out of my pocket when oh, I get on something. Around that turn Thank over God. there and fished all the way over there, all over the way over here. All I caught was a couple little bluegills, and I didn't get those on camera. I ain't got no chest strap, so I'm just out cruising. Headed back over here. I think it's almost time to head back. I'm gonna jump in the water again and we're gonna hike back up to the top there. All right. We'll see you guys back on the trail. Back on the trailer, man. That was a hell of a hike back up. So we're headed back on the trail now, back in the truck, back to Mountain Lakes, go do some swimming and chilling. adventures with the razor for the day we're headed back to mountain lakes and gonna go swimming yeah. we are wore out but we did get to play in the lake for a while we did make it to the lake that's a cool thing no fish only a couple little bluegills i didn't even get it on camera but uh we're headed back right now we'll got see you in a bit family we're done we just got back down out of the mountains we're all gonna go meet meet i got my baby cousin mia here with us 
we're going to dinner. I got Mia, Sebastian, and Christian, and his girlfriend, so we're all going to Scotland store here to Melody's place. If you've ever been to Melody's place, then you know what I'm talking about in Lalo Creek. You gotta stop. The people are beautiful. They're awesome. Melanie's such a sweetheart. Great place here, guys. That here. I like the totem poles, man. I've been coming to this place since I was like five years old. Four years old. Going into this store, buying candy. This is the spot. This is where I grew up in these mountains right here. Grew up coming up here. Didn't live here. I lived down the hill. Oh, yeah. You ever get a chance to stop in here? Lyle Creek, California. Scotland store. Melody's place. Four cheese sticks with french fries. Yep. Get all of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah mozzarella sticks. Very good. Right. Mozzarella sticks. Oh, yeah. Whatever you know, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 It's the face of a war out turtle. Found it. <laughs> she was passed out in the back of the Polaris right. on the way home. How you guys doing? Welcome back to the second part of the trip. This is down here. We're in Middle Fork. It's Lattle Creek, California. We're back in Middle Fork. We're back in here. The kids and everybody are already up here. I had to run down to the store. I forgot my GoPro back at the cabin, so I had to run back and get this. <laughs> And then I had to go get some ice and stuff. Everybody's already up here. You know, my daughter, my sons, my grandkids, friends, family. And it's packed right now with all kinds of people right there. Well, we're going to kick it with the family today. I'll give you guys a little glimpse inside the, the family life and how we do it. And we just chill. No fishing. Maybe. I don't know. We might go up to the creek a little further up. I know a couple little spots where we can hike down into, and I know they got little trout down in there. So stick around. We'll check it out in a little bit, guys. We'll see you guys in a while. This is the way we do it. We just come down here and make ponds. What are we doing? What's up, buddy? You got scared. There's my boy. There's my grandkids up there. That's my KJ and my Nina. Oh yeah, the big fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say hi. What's up, Bobby? What are you doing, building it up now? Trying to make it deeper, it's a lot deeper than it was. It's freaking cold, dude. My ankles are already numb. This water seems like it's colder than uh, uh, Robinson's now Creek. This is what I call hot water. So we take a peek where my grandkids are. I try to find my grandkids. Where'd they go? They're doing it down. I don't know if my buddy Luke is watching, but if you're watching Luke, this is that same spot where we almost stepped on that big ass Pacific coast that coiled back and you blew it up with the barrage of rocks. Yeah, this is that same area. It used to be a little bit more of a riverbed. So this is that same area right here. Right in this area. Yeah. Looks nice up here. Look these guys over fishing these little ponds. There's fish up here. There's a little trout up in here. It's a beautiful area. <sighs> Hello! 
Whoa! Whoa, whoa, over there! <laughs> <coughs> oh, I told you I'd find him. I knew I'd find you. Hi. I heard Nina's mouth. That's what I followed. Berry. Oh, they're up here looking for berries. Yeah, they raped these bushes. You know what? You know how me and Uncle Luke used to do it? We used to grab a log, grab a bush, a, a tree, and we'd set it over here like this, and we'd lay it into the bush, and we'd climb up the log and pick them up in there. I got one. <laughs> yeah. I got yeah. one. Grandpa, I took one out my toe. They're good. There's another one right there, I think. Here's one right here. Look, Nina, right here. Here. You want one, KJ? Yeah. Pretty damn good. Don't give them too many of <laughs> Yeah. Look, if you stand right here in the sand, you could probably reach those ones. <laughs> Watch the rocks, man. Yeah. You see the guys fly fishing down there in the creek? No. One of their friends, I was talking to him. What? Oh, wow. Is that a bark beetle? I know these cool tech. A bark beetle? What is it? Oh, there he goes. Oh, that's a wasp. That ain't a bark beetle, that's a wasp. <laughs> Hiking around Middle Fork. Coming up on the ponds here. Little family outdoor getaway, guys. No major fishing or nothing, just family time. That's what it's all about. You know when I get in a fish and I'm gone. Nothing else matters. People around me don't matter. So right now, I gotta put down a fishing pole. And spend some quality time with the family. You know, we're down here for a family funeral. And a little side note. Life's short, man. Tell your loved ones you love them. Make sure you spend much time with them and some quality time, man. Not just saying hi and on Facebook and seeing people. If you need to, be the one that gathers people up in your family. You know, try to do something, reach out. But uh, these days and times, man, a lot of people are passing away and a lot of people are dying. A lot of our loved ones. And, uh, so make sure you tell your people and your loved ones out there that you love them. Remember that, peeps. Boomer grandkids. Talk to you what? Yep, there's Grandpa's truck. We're out here hiking around. Come in here and wash your feet off. Come in here and wash your guys' feet off. Let's go. Uh oh, be careful. <laughs> Come on. Let's go see what we got down here. Nah. It's the end of the trip. We're done. I got an extra package coming back with us for a week. But this is the end of the trip. We're not on injury anymore. We're, we're, we're done with Lyle Creek for now. Till and next uh, time. Mountain Lake, so we'll see you next time. Till next time. Hopefully next time we'll take you guys out to the falls. Yeah. All right. Well, you guys have a good one. We'll see you on the far side. Right, this is my guys, Just got back from the California trip. Got all this crap I got to put away that I unloaded. Got to wash the razor, got to wash the truck. Got a lot of stuff to do today. Just got done editing videos, but first, I got to get my day started with some magic mind. I got to do this right, man. So, I'm going to get this stuff going. And, breathe for a second.
That's the stuff right there, guys. That's bomb. I don't even need the orange juice anymore. Yeah. This is where we used to slide down. We used to come down it on huge, Ted. Nina. Look at that little pool. <laughs> jump off, right there. Go ahead, jump in. Watch it. I'm thinking about jumping in right now. <laughs> I really want to jump in. Dora. Right here. This is where you jump in at. Basically, deep enough right there you can jump in. We used to slide off this. We used to come uh, the feet right here with the energy. I come right off into it. Are you crazy? It's cold. Fill that water. <laughs> you go right here. Boom. Yeah, we'll see that sandy area. That's where you're jumping. Yeah. Over there is the deepest stuff. Yeah. We walk all around right here. I don't here. know. I think there's big rocks under there. That's where we jump. That's where me and Robbie jump. It's right under the white water. There's nothing else there. Yeah, if you want to jump, just jump right there. You're good. Yep. yep. Jump straight into the sand. See the sandy area? Jump right there. Go ahead, we got you. Go, jump. You got it. Feet first. <laughs> See? That's my little daredevil. I'm telling you. That woke you up, huh? That's my little daredevil, man. I'm telling you. Let's go. I want to go, Grandpa. Look at that.